How's it going everybody? Welcome or welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about the Valheim Hearth and Home update. I'm super excited. I hope you guys are. There's quite a few changes that are going on underneath the hood here. Even if you haven't really recognized it, you've been playing for a little bit, there's definitely a lot of changes that have happened. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so the Valheim Hearth and Home update is here, and like I said before, it was actually quite a big update, and there were quite a few major changes, and we're going to go over the majority of them, not in depth, but we're going to go over just surface level, what the changes were, and some of the effects that they had in-game. So as you know, one of the most well-known parts of the update is involving the food. There was a ton of recipes added, and how the food works was changed a lot. The whole system was overhauled, so there are essentially three different categories or types of food now. So there's the red fork food, so that's going to be like your, your meats and your larger foods, and those are going to provide you with higher HP than stamina. You'll still get stamina and HP from every type of food, but with the uh, food that has a red fork on it, you're going to get more HP than you will stamina. And then there's going to be the yellow fork foods, things that kind of seem to be more like carb filled is going to give you more stamina than it will HP. So, for example, if you want to go out with, you know, you want to be kind of like a tanking character or like a shield and sword character, you're going to want to eat more red fork foods than yellow fork foods. Probably two red forks and one yellow fork, or uh, two red forks and a silver fork or something like that. But then there is the silver fork, and the silver fork is a balance of the two. It doesn't give you exactly the same HP and stamina, but it's closer to being balanced. Now, it's kind of ironic. This change got rebalanced the day after the Valheim Hearth and Home update came out. It seemed as though a lot of players didn't like that the Red Fork foods really gave you a shit ton of HP and hardly any stamina and vice versa for the Yellow Fork foods. So the devs came up with a tweak for that right away after the Valheim Hearth and Home update, along with a bunch of other small tweaks with the with the uh, update right after. Now with the food overhaul, it does give you kind of this two option, this two play style option where with, like I said before, with the red, the red fork foods, you're kind of more tankish, not a full tank, but you can definitely take a lot more hits. And then with the yellow fork foods, you have a shit ton of stamina, so it's good for dodging around and uh, doing a lot of swinging. All right, moving on to another major part of the Valheim Hearth and Home update, and that was the addition of tons and tons and tons of building pieces, home decor items, and tons of other items that you can craft as well. There have literally been entire videos dedicated to showing off just the new building pieces, so I will not be going over every individual building piece in this video. If you'd like to see that from my channel, go ahead and leave a comment down below, but I will be leaving a link in the description to a in-depth blog post that I used to help build this video, and that'll be, again, that'll be a link in the description that you can follow, and that literally goes through how to make and how to access every single thing in the new update. So, some more major additions to the Valheim Hearth and Home update. That's going to be dark wood crafting items, so I'll, I'll talk about that a little more in depth later. But that's going to be things like, uh, there's a dark wood chair, the new shingle roofing is dark wood. There are also tons of different dark wood beams and many different types of other fancy or uh, intricate furnishings and decorations that you can put around your house that are made from the new dark wood. There's also been an addition of tons of new furniture, like for example, the stone throne and the hot tub. Those are a couple of key items that you see in the trailer for the Valheim Hearth and Home update. There's a couple new types of uh, tables, a dark wood chair, like I mentioned earlier, and a, like I said, a shit ton of other stuff as well. Some other notable items is the cartography table where you can share your map data with your fellow Vikings. And I want to congratulate Nashi and Binox, hopefully I said that right, for their mod addition into Valheim. That was a mod that those two created or uh, developed and published together. And they added it to the Nexus, and now it's in the game. So that's very exciting for them. You can share your map with your fellow Vikings. You have you summon one Viking to your world and you can go to this cartography table and share your map with them. Or if you, one of your fellow Vikings summons you to their world, you can go to their cartography table and you can share your maps together on their world as well. If you found value or learned something new in this video about the Valheim Hearth and Home update so far, please just leave me a, a subscribe down below. Go ahead and click the button, click notifications so you can see my future uploads as well. Now, if you found yourself desiring a kitchen in your astute Viking Lodge, then I'm sure you'll be quite satisfied with the new kitchen additions that have been added to the Valheim Hearth and Home update. 
alongside the new food recipes as well. So the new upgrades have been added for the cauldron, similar to the chopping block or tanning rack for the workbench. So you can add things to your kitchen, like a butcher's table, spice rack, pots and pan sets, an iron cooking station, and a stone oven, and they will all act as an upgrade to the cauldron. All right, now, like I said before, I was gonna talk about the dark wood a little more later in the video. So you heard me mention it a few times. It is not a new type of wood, but rather it's a wood that you combine with a new gatherable material, and that is tar. Now, I feel like tar is a very interesting thing that had, has been added to Valheim and the world of Valheim. And it can be found in the plains biome. And it's like a pool. It's like a giant pool of just black tar. And if you are playing on an old save game and you haven't visited some areas of the plains, you may be able to find some tar pits around. But if you have already discovered your entire map on your old save, then you're going to have to start a new game or just a new server specifically to find these tar pits and gather the tar. So once you come to a tar pit, you're gonna encounter these like baby tar sapling things. I don't even know what to call them. But you once you kill those guys and you drain the tar pit, you can then collect the tar. And once you've collected the tar, you can uh, combine it with fine wood or regular wood, and then you've created yourself some dark wood. All right, now continuing on to the last few new additions to the Valheim Hearth and Home update. We've got some new weapons and shields. There's the bone tower shield, a butcher knife, an iron buckler, a silver knife, and a crystal battle axe. Now, most of these weapons are end game and a couple of them are mid game. So if you're still kind of tanking through the game, killing some of the bosses, you may be able to build some of these or create some of these right now. Otherwise, if you're in the beginning, you're probably gonna have to wait. Along with the new weapon additions, things with the combat in Valheim have changed a little as well. Mostly it's going along with the food like I mentioned before. So you've got kind of these two fighting styles where you've got a health, high health blocker and a high stamina dodging and parrying type playable style. Choose a play style that fits you and ensure you indulge properly like the God of Thunder Thor before you charge into battle to fight Ekthir or the Elder or Motor or even Yagaluth. I don't know how to say his name, but the final boss of Valheim. Now, moving on to these last two amazing additions to Valheim. The first one I'm going to mention is Lox Riding. Now, I'm still fairly new to Valheim, but I did uh, download a save game or a save world and found some tamed loxes in this world and put some saddles on them. And it was pretty amusing to give them a little ride around. I named them and it was, it was very, it was very fun. So locks riding is very crucial to Valheim. You can do some, some, uh, some damage to just about everything. So be careful while you're riding around. It's like a, like a tree log falling from the sky, but you're riding around instead. Like I said, just a second ago, you gotta just tame your locks. And then once you've built that saddle fit for a troll, you can uh, go ahead and slap that saddle on top of your locks and sit on top of the locks and give her a ride. Now, the last addition that was made in the Valheim Hearth and Home update is called the Obliterator. And basically, to summarize this up, uh, it's pretty simple. You're putting something in this block, and it's essentially an offering to the gods, and Thor himself strikes it with lightning, collecting it from Asgard. Really, actually, what it's doing is it's more like you're pissing Thor off, and he strikes it with lightning, and just completely obliterates it, like the uh, system is called. Now... You definitely want to be a little careful around this thing because if you if you stick around, uh, Thor is a very menacing god and he will not care if you get hurt in the process of destroying your garbage offering to the gods. No, but seriously, the lightning will hurt pretty much anything that's nearby the obliterator, like literally anything, a troll, a viking, or even a boar. It will uh, definitely damage it, so you're going to want to stay away from the obliterator once you put something in it and pull the lever just go ahead and step back and get the fuck away and watch the lightning strike if there are any other topics on my channel that you'd like to hear from me go ahead and leave a comment down below so that i can fulfill that information for you but other than that that is the conclusion of the valheim hearth and home update i hope you enjoyed thank you very much i'll see you in the next one peace